evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths Sinking Ship video, and this is sinking the SS Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse, uh, one of four German ocean liners, one of four, four funneled ocean liners, one of the first four stackers to be built uh, of Imperial Germany, in the, I think it was either the, the, the end of the 19th century or the very beginning of the 20th century these ships were built, they're the, the, the earliest forms, or the earliest four stacker uh, ocean liners. Uh, one of four, like I said, and uh, this is one that I created originally in Minecraft. I have done the tutorial for it, although it is one of the uh, forgotten ones that uh, doesn't really get seen or mentioned anymore. So uh, it's a shame, really, but you know, people are not really interested in these sort of ships. It's mainly Titanic and things like that, but uh, never mind. So um, this is what I've uh, come up with. This is uh, built from my tutorial. I managed. Well, I didn't have the actual ship anymore, so I had to rebuild it using my tutorial. <laughs> And um, yeah, I've converted it to from the depths, and here it is today. It's a bit of a list to it for some reason. It's uh, it's floating fine earlier on, but I think it's just the way the water is at the moment. There's a bit of a, a list going on, but it's not too bad. But yeah, I've converted it to um, uh, from the uh, to from the depths from Minecraft, and uh, it is as it would have been uh, made from the tutorial. I just added a few different bits, like the the smoke on the stacks and. Um, a few bulkheads inside as well, so that's basically all I've done. So that's the uh, the ship in question. I got my usual uh, destructive vehicle over there, the Mamba, and uh, been asked to sink a ship from the stern, so I'm going to do that with this one. Um, but it's an awkward ship to convert because it's because it's a small size. It's sort of along the lines of Carpathia. It's a very awkward design to get it to float because um, it's uh, it's just it's quite a deep. Um, as you can see, quite a deep draft, but uh, it's uh, an awkward one to get to float. Uh, you know, sort of steady, but uh, never mind. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. So what I'm going to do is I'll head over to the Mambi or the Mamba, wherever it is there, and uh, usual suspect, and uh, we shall start by firing at the stern. So I head over to the stern, and then we'll aim about. I don't know, lag there. We'll aim about there. Did that fire? No, it didn't fire. Right, I'm going to aim about there. And there we go. Right, see, we'll see what damage we can do. Kaboo. Ooh, blimey. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, well, that's the stern gone. I just blown the whole stone up. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I forgot there's munitions inside there. Oh, it's fucked the whole stone up. Oh well. That's uh. That's done. That. So, yeah. There was there was some munitions in the stone. I forgot to. I forgot they were in there. And it's just blown the whole stone up. Oh look, there's the uh, air pump still intact. Jesus. There wasn't that many uh, munition boxes in there. But obviously there was enough to do that. I mean, look at that, it's just completely obliterated the stern. Well, the stern fell apart, basically. And uh, it's just going down in great big chunks. I mean, <laughs> there's the rudder. And, oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's just a, a, a mass of wreckage now. Oh, well. So, um, I don't know where the propellers are. Are they gone? Yeah, the propellers are gone as well, so... The ship ain't gonna move. Blimey, that that was a huge blast. I didn't realise that the the amount of munitions that was in there was going to do that. I mean, look at that. <laughs> and there's there's the front of the cargo hatch. So what I was doing, I, was, I think what I was trying to do was um, decorate it on the inside and you know, put um, carrying munitions and things like that. Because there's the cargo hatch where, where it would have been. So obviously um, the, the munitions in the cargo hatch um, have blown. Even blown the the bloody uh, heavy armoured keel open, so that's that shows you the power of that. What was in there? So now all we've got down there now is just well, not quite on the bottom yet, but it's just, <laughs> just wreckage. Okay, so that's uh, that's a highlight of the day. Right, so where are we? Um, let's aim at the next compartment. Let's see where that one is. That's about there. So if we aim about there, and we'll try and sink it from the stern. We've got half the job done. Most of it's down there. That's, there we go. That's the hole blasted in the stern there. Did that damage the hull? Oh yeah, it's opened the hull completely. So that's that's done that. 
So there, there is a lot of light alloy on the ship as well, I would admit. So this is not going to sink like a stone, um, like the rest of the ship do. I mean, look at that. Just a pile of pieces on the, on the seabed now. I have to keep examining. I mean, it looks looks just weird. I mean, there's the bulkhead as well in the wreckage. I mean, the, the whole section's upside down, but there's the bulkhead. The bulkhead survived, and there's another piece there with the keel in it. There's a, some flooring, and on the seabed there is just pieces. I mean, oh well. Let's just get back to the surface and carry on what we're doing. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's not done her any favours, is it? Oh well, um, not really sure what to do now. She's been obliterated. Right, let's go on the inside now. See if we can blast open another compartment. We want to try and sink this thing before she uh, before she goes over. That didn't help, did it? Okay, two shells bounced, or three shells bounced, and one hit somewhere. I don't know where it went. The ship is turning, turning turtle now, so gonna have to do something because she is gonna roll right over. I think. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to do things by the book. It just doesn't work. Okay, let's punch it into the compartment. Open. Oh, now she's starting to rise again. Okay, she rolled over onto her side, and now she's going to right herself again. This is this isn't proper physics, by the way. <laughs> this is um, fantasy physics. So if you want to right your ship, you put a hole in it. Yes. So just wait a few minutes, and she'll be ready to go again. Although she is missing propellers and uh, a lot of propulsion. <laughs> All this piece, I think those pieces are gone now. I don't know. No, uh, they can't think they've all disintegrated. But as you can still see, she's... Actually, I think she's settled now. I think she's, yeah, she's stable now, so she's not going to tip over again. Let's make this a bit more interesting. Let's aim at a funnel, shall we? Let's try and blast a funnel. Heh. <laughs> I say blast a funnel, just completely obliterate it. Alright, so that's a funnel pretty much gone. That'll collapse in a second. And I think she's tipping over again. Alright, let's put a hole about there. Make sure. So, there's really much else I can do. There's, she's going to tip over. I don't, don't want her to tip over too far. You can see she's she's going down at the stern slightly. She's more top heavy than anything. Because this compartment's flooded, I think this whole area in here is full of water. She's just, just going to tip over and sink. Oh, the funnel's gone as well, so that's that gone. So I'm going to try and aim for that area. I'm going to breach that compartment, then she'll, she should level out a bit more. And we've got the shells to do it. No guarantee that it's going to work, but if we can just break open that compartment, then the ship should should level out a bit more. Leveling out. Yep, she is. You can see. So I look. Use the funnel as a weather vane. She's 
gradually writing herself, but she's not sinking now. I mean, considering how much is being blown open on this ship, um, you think she would be uh, sinking like a stone, but that's not the case today. There's another compartment flo flooded. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six compartments which are not flooded. So ideally, ideally it's torpedo time. I don't really want to use torpedoes because it just makes life too easy. We also the torpedoes go wherever they bloody well like. Alright, let's just get back to Mamba a minute. We've got to try and readjust her. She's a bit far away as well, she's too far away than compared to what she usually is. So let me just climb on board again and just drive a bit closer. Oh, too far, hang on. So was that funnel? I think it was funnel number four I knocked off, wasn't it? So she's, she's a three stacker now, but... Come on, I really need more power from this machine. I mean, look. Got all these propellers and still can't go fast enough. Um, I think that I do want to uh, stop about there and then turn around a bit. Needs better bow thrusters as well, this thing. If you look under here, you've got bow thrusters for the side, but they're just not meaty enough. Um, that's enough about that thing. Um, okay, let's fire a few torpedoes. Might as well get the job done. That's done her in quite badly. She's now tipping over a bit more again. More towards the stern. And she's st starting to rise again. What damage did those torps do? I think they just blown the whole yeah, they've blown the whole side open so she's knackered. Uh let's get rid of another funnel. There's <laughs> another funnel. Now that 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 big gun is is, is alright, but it's just sort of over exaggerated with the uh, the amount of power it has. It's useless at aiming, well, it's good at aiming, but it's useless at turning and reloading. It's, it's really slow, but it's... When it does go off, it packs a hell of a punch. And that's two funnels down now, so that funnel will collapse in a second. Surprised we've still got the um, the rearward mast on, but... Usually they're one of the first things to go, so we'll get, wait for this funnel to go. And then we'll crack on with another... Uh, bit of doom and gloom. I mean, it's smoke coming out the top, but there's actually no bottom to it. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, come on. <sighs> See, the stern didn't take this long to fall off. <laughs> the stern went immediately. I mean, we've got more bits falling off now. Where'd these bits come from, I wonder? I think I'm just going to have to fire the gun at this funnel because it's not going to fall, is it? Well, that didn't work, did it? Oh, there we go. Now the funnel's gone. Right, so now we're down to two. And the ship is even more over to one side, just fire a few more torpedoes. She's actually moving as well, because of the, the the impact of the gun shells, she's actually moving away. So here comes some more torps. And that's blown her open even more now.
but still she don't give up. She's still tipping over, no, she's still level, well it's not level but stable, she's not going to tip over, so if we just get back to Mamba and turn the ship a bit more this way, because the, the recoil of the gun is pushing the, sh the uh, ship further away. So let's just fire a few more dozen torpedoes. And again she rises. Briefly. But still not a lot happening. I mean, there can't be much left. I mean, look at that. I mean, the hull was uh, light alloy. The decks are metal. The bottom of the ship's metal. So really, the ship should be keeling over and heading for the seabed, but it's not the case. So we fire a few more torpedoes just to get the job done. Oh, the mast just fell over. That's the mast gone. Oh, and now she tips at the front. And once again she's levelling out. This ship can't make up her mind which way she wants to be. Let's fire some more anyway. The whole ship's I think all the compartments are flooded now. I think there might well there might be a couple that are still uh intact. I think most of them are all breached now. Let's have a look. So we've got the hulls all knackered. The ship is levelling out, so let's go and have a look. We've got forward compartments flooded, second compartments flooded, thirds flooded. Fourth flooded, fifths flooded, sixth flooded, seventh flooded, eighth flooded, ninth flooded, tenth blown completely open, <laughs> and the ninth is nothing there. So now the, sh the ship is just taking a massive dip now. Yeah, the ship is sinking backwards now. There is not a huge amount going for her now, so I think she's just going to upend and just sink. I've got to help her along the way a bit though. That one caught me out. the superstructures and that's just basically a bridge wing and two funnels so the bow is probably going to be I think vertically out of the water by the time she goes under she, she's going under steady you see the draft is now coming out of the water that mast though still there let's help her along a bit more let's fire a few more torpedoes didn't really help her, just made the situation worse. fire a few more. Let's be mean.
I'm just going to keep firing torpedoes now until she goes under because it's getting a bit boring now. That's the mast gone. Just a four peak to go. And she is, yeah, she's almost completely vertical now. And there she goes. That's that. She's going to take a while now until she gets to the seabed. Um, I think we're in the deepest part, so yeah, we're in quite a, a hefty part of the ocean, so she's going to take a while until she gets to the seabed, but we'll have a look at the wreckage anyway, what's left. And she is completely vertical, look. The mast had been breached, or say breached, been blown off completely there. Funnel number one was down to the base, funnel number two was gone, funnel number three and four we knew were gone. And there is nothing left of the superstructure there. And the, <laughs> the stern has gone completely. On the other side, she's just as bad. Maybe not quite as bad, but there is much left. So now she's. You know, the pieces are just breaking off now. And there's the mast is broken off eventually. <laughs> there's the mast on the surface. So that's. Uh, that's it for the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse. And the bridge is finally gone as well. There's nothing left. Nothing really left, uh, which was very ship-like. So there we go. That is that. So we just fly back over to Mamba. And um, that is pretty much it. But there is a tutorial for that ship. It's on my channel if you're interested. It's the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse. Uh, for Minecraft, anyway. And... Um, yeah, I, I just converted it to, to from the depth. But uh, yeah, it's basically the uh, forgotten tutorial, one of the forgot forgotten tutorials. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. I may do a, an update video at the end of this uh, when she hits the seabed, but it's going to be a while yet, so I may not do it. But um, yeah, there's uh, not much else I can really talk about. Um, the ship's gone, destroyed. And uh, yeah, if, you, if like I said, if you're interested in building that ship, there's a tutorial and just just look it up. Uh, but anyway, this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I shall return with another video. So uh, bye for now.